Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we will be talking about Samsung One UI 4.0, the beta program that also brings you Android 12. So in front of me here is four different Samsung Galaxy devices. They're all sitting at different stages of this update and of this beta program. The Galaxy S21 series just got finished, and so I was going to show you the notice here that is kind of letting me know that it's all done, which also means that you could be very soon or already seeing the Samsung One UI 4.0 pushed off as a regular public update. Then we also have the Galaxy Z Fold 3, the Galaxy Z Flip 3. Both of these ones are actually on their second beta software update, so this one's getting closer to being done and complete. And now over here is the Galaxy Note 20, and this is where you'd be able to sign up and register for the beta program here, again, for the Galaxy Note 20. And then we'll also talk about the rest of the launch for the rest of the devices and when they could come out with either beta or with the full public release, because there is a schedule that was released that was also approved by Samsung after it was leaked out. So the first one I want to talk about is over here for the Galaxy Note 20. I want to show you how you're able to register for this if you do have the Galaxy Note 20. So what you want to do is make sure you have the latest version of Samsung members. And Samsung members might already be pre-installed on your phone inside of the Samsung folder. Once you go inside of the Samsung members application, this is where you'd want to actually go over into the home page of it. So here is the home page of Samsung members. Now what you'll be taking a look at is right over here where it says benefits. Now, underneath benefits, you want to scroll all the way down, and here's that One UI beta program. Now, all you'd have to do is hit on register. Then, once you register for it, you scroll down, you approve, you confirm it. Then, what's going to happen is that you want to search for an update that could be on your phone. So you want to go inside of the settings and then underneath the settings, this is where you want to go to software update. And then you want to go to download and install. Now I'm not going to install it on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I'm just going to wait for the public release for that one because this one is the wife's phone and I already have it on the rest of my Samsung Galaxy devices. So I don't really need to have it on the Note 20. So it'll allow a open spot for someone else to join. So again, make sure you go inside of the Samsung members application. Uh, and then inside of here, you want to go inside of benefits, go down, go to register. Now, if you hit the register button and it doesn't show up right away, just restart your phone really quick, then go to take a look to see if there is a update. So that is all I want to talk about with the Galaxy Note 20. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is going to be with the Galaxy S21 Ultra because this one has now been completed. So once this one is done, basically how I knew it was finished is when you took a look up over here, it says beta users suggestions implementation. So it's talking about how everything that has been given to them as suggestions has been Im implemented and it's basically done. It just says, thank you for participating in the One UI beta program, which basically kind of says it is done and complete. So they're just going to talk about what they were doing to finish off this update. So if you got a, a update just recently for the Galaxy S21 series, either the S21, S21 Ultra, then it could actually be this update. And if you don't see it just yet, then it should be coming very, very soon because I have an entire list of all of the devices and when this update will be pushed out. And it says for the Galaxy S21 series that it's due for this month here in November. So again, this one looks like it's all done and complete and the public version should be pushed off for the Galaxy S21 series. Now, before we talk about the Galaxy Z Fold 3, the Galaxy Z Flip 3, and the rest of the schedule for all the rest of the phones, if you guys appreciate this video, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. And give this thing a big thumbs up, give this thing a comment because it does help the YouTube algorithm push this video to more and more people. So when it comes down to the Z Fold 3 and the Z Flip 3, this update is pretty much the exact same update. It's almost even the same size. It was pushed off at the same time. Now, now, this one is on the second beta software update. This one was pushed off on November 16th. So if you took a look at this update, it ends with Z-U-K-A, and that's the same for the flip and the fold. Now, this is just me looking at my last update that I did. I did it this morning at 8.30 a.m., talking about bug fixes, fixed an issue where photos are not removed between folders and gallery, uh, improved camera operation, improved the operations of lock screen, such as pause, blur, etc. cetera, uh, fixed Wi-Fi automatic connection error, fixed errors that don't work at adaptive refresh 120 hertz, apply SW stabilization codes, so reboot, 
pause, and etc. Improve the operations of screen and errors when, when switching between the cover screen and the main screen. Improved charging operations. There was a known issue underneath the camera. More, add more than two modes in more and save. Camera app ends when moving by mode. Uh, if there is an error in the Samsung Health app operation, please update to the latest version of the Galaxy Store. And it just kind of talks about, you know, the rest of everything else, the size of it, and also the security patch, which is still November 1st. So now that we're done with the Fold 3 and the Flip 3, I do want to show you one thing as well. So if I hit on this back button, it takes me to the main screen that I was just looking at of some of the notices, but it's pretty interesting. If I was to hit this back button right up over here, it's going to take me into a different screen. And I think this is the screen that people noticed, and this is actually given the full schedule of Android 12. Uh, you know, Samsung One UI 4 upgrade with Android 12. This should be the public regular push release. So this is what was found by some people. And then a lot of regular blogs and things like that picked up on it. So here's Android Authority. They were talking about it. So if you wanted to read about it, you can take a look at Android Authority. They have everything all written down by the months. This one just basically has every single phone and then they write down the month of when it's coming out. So when it comes down over into the Galaxy S21 series, obviously it states November 2021. We've already said that with the Galaxy S21 one that I showed earlier. It was done. Thanks for participating. We'll implement everything. So that means that it should be being pushed off right now uh, publicly for everybody to get. Then when it comes down to the Flip 3 and the Fold 3, uh, we're already right now on the second beta update. So that means it'll be coming out here in December for the regular public push. And then for January, you'll have the S20 series, uh, you know, the S20 FE, the Note 10, the Note 20. So the Note 20 is now available to sign up for beta, which we just had over here just a minute ago. So here's all the notices, talk about all of the phones. And it looks like the very last device to ever get anything is going to be in August of 2022. So that'll be the Galaxy A02s, uh, the A01, and the A11. And then down over here, it just basically talks all about the upgrade, everything new, the palettes, the home screens, the lock screens, the camera, uh, the gallery. So there's pretty much every single thing written right up over here with the, with the notices inside of the Samsung members application. Uh, Android Authority has it all written down by the month. Then they put the phones inside of those categories. So if you own any of these devices, this is when these updates will be coming for you for whichever phone you may have. It looks like most of them will be coming out November, December, January, February for the majority of the devices. And then the rest is going to be middle to maybe the you know second, third quarter of 2022. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video going over pretty much almost everything. Signing up for the Note 20. The S21 is basically done. We took a look at the Fold 3 and the Flip 3. And then we took a look at this entire schedule of when, you know, the rest of the devices will get this update. But I hope you guys appreciated it. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.